Race, formerly Beaver Run, for the first track day of the 2015 riding season. And I'm very excited to be able to experience a track event like this. Uh, the weather is uh, fantastic this morning. Uh, we're expecting sunny skies and temperatures in the high 60s, which is ideal for a track day. You don't want it too hot, and you obviously don't want to freeze your Ferrari Testarossas off. So mid-60s is perfect. And we have the HP4 with us that we're going to ride on the track today. HP4 is an awesome track bike. And I'm looking forward to uh, honing my skills and just overall enjoying uh, the track day with friends and, uh, and associates today. A couple of the Cleveland Fast Boys, uh, three of the Fast Boys will be riding with us today. And uh, so that should be very exciting. So we're about an hour outside of uh, We're going to continue soldiering on. So we're pulling up here to the road that leads to the track here at Pit Race. And uh, this used to be a very bumpy, grimy road, but it looks as if it's been repaved. I didn't get to ride here all last year. I rode mostly at Mid Ohio Raceway. But this is one of the tracks that I started riding at a few years ago. So I know it very well. Although they did mention that they're going to be um, expanding the track here at Pit Race soon. So that should be nice. We're here at uh, Pit Race and we have Ken Boy. His first time on the track ever. What did you think, Ken? It was fun. It mm -hmm. was amazing. Um, can't wait to get back out there. Okay. Would you recommend it to people that own sport bikes? Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. Um, your first time out there, was there any fear of you wrecking your motorcycle out there? On Not the track? necessarily. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, we took it slow at first. Mm -hmm. You know, I just was trying to get used to the, to the track. Okay. First couple times around and then up to speed. Seems pretty safe though. Okay. I see you have all the proper gear. You have a full racing suit, helmet, gauntlet gloves, and riding and racing boots. Um, do you think that the investment for all your gear into the track was worth it? Just after one one uh, one one round out there. Definitely. Okay. Definitely. Okay. Excellent. I'm gonna let him get off his motorcycle now and relax. He just got off the track, but we have Kyle and his, uh, well, actually, that's my bike. Kyle just disappeared somewhere. Uh, we got Stunner Way, my good buddy Ollie's here. Hey, what's, what's up, up? buddy? What's going on? And then we're all riding out there. Stunner Way, how's your track day going so far? It sucks. <laughs> Why, is it too hot? No, they got me a novice. Oh! <laughs> and if you've seen my videos, you know very well that Stunner Way is not a novice. Mm -hmm. So, uh, but he made the mistake of not telling the folks out here that he had ridden on the track before. And so they stuck him in novice for two sessions. But after that, he'll be in the intermediate group and Ali and myself will have our cameras rolling yep. as we capture him on the track, uh, demonstrating his skills. Yes, sir. Yeah. So we got the sprinter van right there. Um, we have the generator going, tire warmers on. And uh, this is just a, just an amazing experience. Oh, yeah. 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 10 minute call for our group. And so, um, you know, the track is just a great experience. Um, you see it's camaraderie going on with everybody. These two men just met for the first time and they're already best friends. But these are the sort of activities that happen when you're at the track. I mean, you, you meet with people. We had a guy come over there, my good buddy Jeff. Jeff? He's texting on his phone right now. But we just met him for the first time. He has an awesome truck. And he was very helpful. How you doing, buddy? Hey, good. We got good. the 10-minute call coming up. Oh, yeah. And uh, he's out here riding in the intermediate group as well. And uh, I just met this gentleman for the first time, and he helped us out with getting our generator and everything set up. But 
those are the sort of things that happen when you're at the track. I mean, it's just like one big happy family. So I think that uh, for those of you that haven't experienced the track, it's definitely something that you should do. Would you recommend the track to folks, people? To people? Yes, most definitely. It'll help you not only here, uh, but on the street. And uh, it just, it just an overall uh, great experience. Do you find yeah. it relaxing riding out here on the track? Oh, yes. Yes. Do you have the yeah. fear of wrecking your motorcycle when you're riding the track? Is that in the back of your head? Is that in your conscience at all? It is uh, from time to time. It depended on the track conditions and uh, it just, uh, but uh, confidence will always build throughout the day and um, it's just, you know, I've, uh, knock on wood, I don't know where wood is at, but I haven't wrecked yet. Uh, so it's just about uh, building up the confidence level and what you do here benefits you on the street. Absolutely. I couldn't have said it better myself. What you do here on the track helps you and benefits you on the, on the street. So we got the 10 minute call. We got Kyle pulling up over there. I think he just went through tech inspection. Did you pass tech inspection? Or did they fail you? They failed you? Oh, he passed. There we go. Yeah. I just tell him what he want to hear. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to get ready to head on out there. I try to work on my lines a little more. This time Ollie's behind me. I'm trying to follow these guys.
I think I need a track bike. A bike that I don't, I wouldn't care if I uh, had an agricultural experience on or not. But this bike isn't it. I kind of like this bike. Fun, you know. You guys are keeping me company as I stroll through the track. One of the uh, tr one of the uh, N2 guys went off the track. It's great, man. You're gonna love that track, buddy. It's so easy. It's such just a just a fun track, Kyle. Which I, I could have swore we met here, but I guess it was it was Middle Ohio where we met. I thought it was here all this time. The track that the, I thought I thought this was the first track we ran. Middle Ohio. So we have an opportunity to ride a 12.99. My good buddy Ollie's gonna be riding the 8.99 for a couple laps around the track here, so we'll be able to get a feel for them. Yep. Should be pretty exciting. I'll leave my bike over there. That's collateral. Well, it feels uh, very similar, just like my uh, 1199 Pinagalli R. I do like the revised mirrors. I'm sure they don't vibrate as much, and uh, they've been repositioned, so it looks like they're actually usable on this bike. That's nice. That would be a reason to upgrade. Uh, this Olin's um, steering dampener is fully electronic. That's pretty cool. I bet the gauges still look the same. Yeah, the gauges still look the same. That's cool. Sir? Feels exactly the same, except actually this feels a little heavier. Uh, could be because this one is, is it an S? It's an S, but mine is an R, so mine is probably slightly lighter. Yeah. But. Yeah, you got the titanium parts. Yep. And my wheels are different. The wheels are a little lighter too. So I'm test riding the 1299 on the track. And I have to f catch up with a guy that's on another Ducati and follow him, they said. I don't know where the hell he is. Oh, there he is. Okay. Trying to get in the neutrals a little was a little tricky at first. We got that figured out. I know about the suspension, tough guy. And this is the novice group, so we should be able to take it easy out here. 
these guys don't run quite as hard as the intermediate folks. I ride in the intermediate group, by the way. I know a, a few of my uh, friendly, uh, happy subscribers and people that commented on my channel have mentioned that uh, that I'm a novice rider. <laughs> That's not true. I ride in the intermediate group. Don't judge a book by its cover, huh? So he just said I'm not allowed to pass him. That's fine with me. I didn't really want to pass him. I just want to test this darn bike out, you know? And here we go. 1299 review on the track. What better place to review a 1299 than where it was born and bred and where it likes to be run. And that's on a track, not the filthy streets of Cleveland, Ohio. That's interesting. There's already a group coming by. Hmm. Well, the, the quick shifter is awesome. As it is on my bike. tires up a bit. Well, I'm used to this feel the feel of this bike after riding my HP4. Big difference. All around. This bike should pretty much almost should be called a new model. You know? It's very deceiving because it looks like an 1199. Mostly. People think that hey it's the same bike, but it's not. track bike that you're riding like the gingerbread lady don't worry I shall exact my revenge on you momentarily
I'm in an interesting dilemma now because I didn't want to turn my Penigali R into a track bike. I was going to turn my HP4 into a track bike and I wanted to ride the Penigali on the street, but after riding this on the track, that Penigali is going to be prepped for the track and, and it might just have sole track duty. But this, this 1299 is an awesome bike. You know, you really don't know what you're missing if you've never written one. You know, it's an awesome bike. Much improved over the 1199, but rightfully so, it's a new model. Um, better handling, sharper handling, more power, which is what we were looking for out of the uh, 1199. It's just a thrilling bike, an absolute track weapon. I thoroughly enjoyed riding this motorcycle. We have wrapped up our track day hey. here at pit race I'm trying to get the truck aligned with the trailer i'm all packed up in the sprinter van no chicken strips here huh that's some good tire wear although you can still see the name of the tire that's okay i think we got leaned over pretty well So it was a great experience. Ken Boy, did you enjoy yourself? Hell yeah! Hell yeah. There we go. They're all packed up. And the trailer. Two bikes in there. And of course, hey yeah, Ken Boy. And of course, the stunner way is over here. I knew that I had better run on that one. Huh? You dirty ape! You filthy ape! Cornelius! Uh, what you about? I'm not running, Cornelius! Uh, <laughs> You're not gonna catch me! I'm not.
what? You gonna see this happen? You gonna jump over the road. Uh-uh. I ain't gonna jump over. <laughs> oh! oh, you cocksucker! <laughs> so that wraps it up for another awesome track day at Pit Race. Had a great time. Saw some old friends, met some new friends. Had a great track experience, learned quite a bit today. Got to ride the 1299 on the track. That was an awesome treat. And now we're gonna hit the road. So stay tuned for an awesome video. Coming soon. Thanks for viewing.